Steiner... Steiner konnte nicht genügend Kräfte für einen Angriff massieren. Der Angriff Steiner ist nicht erfolgt. Jeder hat mich belogen, sogar die SS! Die gesamte Generalität ist in zwei, drei seinen Haufen niederträchtiger, treuloser Feiglinge! Mein Führer, ich kann nicht zulassen, dass die Soldaten, die für Sie verbrauchen... Apparently, Kino Body wants to live in a world without any judgment. Imagine if we took the rapists, the pedos, the murderers, the thieves, and we just said, hey man, this is a judgment free zone, judgment free society. Fucking goodbye society and civilization. Um, non judgment, man. Non judgment. That's a word for the vegans. Is stop judging people, man. <laughs> the fuck down relax okay <laughs> okay okay I'm calm. I'm calm oh my god did you see Jeannie's outfit totally man what a fucking nerd she's so useful she just go and fucking die no guy's ever gonna want her judgment isn't something that's inherently bad that we need to get rid of there's righteous judgment and there's shallow judgment saying that someone is useless and has no value because they have poor fashion sense okay that's bad judgment, okay? Saying someone is a bad person because they kill other creatures, or they're responsible for killing other creatures, or they infringe on the rights of other creatures, that's righteous judgment. Nigga, I'm done sick of this plantation. I don't pick no cotton for no white master. Mate, are you judging me? Mate, I'm a spiritual guy. I'm all about non-judgment, bro. Non-judgment, bro. Vegan is the same thing. It's like trying to demonize and cut out, you know, meats and different foods, and it's like, do you, like, do, you really, do you really think that eating protein or eating meat is, is what's causing our health issues? Uh, yes, indeed I do, mate. I think that meat and other animal products are one of the primary contributors to the diseases that we see today in the Western world. And I think, you know, a good place to start would be that World Health Organization report that came out last year, surveying over 800 studies, okay, compiling all the information and come to the conclusion that processed meats and red meats are carcinogenic. There are many things in meats that are unhealthy for us. For example, the protein is very high in methionine, which is indicated with cancer growth and reduced life expectancy. You can look at the stimulation of the insulin-like growth factor. Animal proteins are also highly insulogenic, and they also stimulate the mTOR enzyme, which is connected with type 2 diabetes. There's also something to be said of the saturated fat, which is uh, connected with increase in cholesterol, and cholesterol is also indicated in atherosclerosis, aka heart disease. Hemine is contained exclusively in meats and other animal products, and because the body can't regulate the absorption of hemine, it often results in hemochromatosis, or an excess of iron. And this results in oxidation, which leads to DNA damage. And that DNA damage has been linked to cardiovascular disease, as well as uh, increased risk of cancer, such as liver cancer or even breast cancer. Cooked meats, you know, like grilling or frying, we produce heterocyclic aromatic amines or even polycystic hydrocarbons. And these are carcinogenic to the body. Not to mention the metabolic acidosis from the low pH of these meats or the metabolic waste products that result from fermentation in the gut because they can't be digested properly, like uh, the nitrosamines or the putrescines. Do you, like, do you really, do you, do, 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 what, what are you trying to say, Kino? I think like no single food or macronutrient is responsible for poor health. Bro, what is that? That's what we call a straw man, okay? Just because I'm saying that meat and animal products are a heavy contributor to poor health, I'm not saying it's the only contributor. And, and I've never done a video about them. I don't care to, but they just like are trying to like take me down because you know what? My shit is sexy. <laughs> demonized, and now vegans just want to pretend like animal, um, like meats are bad for you. Mate, these fucking smoking Nazis, man, you keep pretending like smoking bad for you. It's all part of a balanced lifestyle. You've just got to moderate your smoking, mate. No reputable health organization would ever recommend going down to 10% of your calories for fat. Dr. McDougall's Health and Medical Center, a board-certified MD who has had tremendous success reversing heart disease and diabetes and hypertension using a very low-fat diet, about 7% of calories from fat. 
And if you only get 10% of your calories from protein, that might be maybe enough, you know, um, to prevent protein deficiency. Bro, do you even crush your core, bro? What, what, you know, um, being healthy comes down to is a few things and people just want to take extremes and be obsessive. Okay, so living in this culture where the typical person has, what, a 20, 25, 30% body fat percentage, obese, overweight, wouldn't you say having a single digit 5 to 10% lean body fat would kind of be a bit extreme, a bit obsessive maybe? Maintain a lean body weight. Why not have a more balanced body weight, you know? Don't be so extreme. Obviously research is clear that if you have excess fat, you're overweight, you know, your waistline's too big, that will actually um, be very bad for your health. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see how that works. So being lean is healthy, fits into your business model, makes you money, okay. Eating meat, meat's bad for your health? That's obsession, that's extreme. Uh, it doesn't fit with my business model, bruh. Studies though, studies show that meat is correlated with weight gain. Whereas with vegans, vegans have an average BMI of 23, which is five points lower than the average of 28, which is overweight. It's a lot of the reason people think stuff is, is, is unhealthy isn't because it's inherently unhealthy, it's because they eat it to excess. So this is what we call the moderation fallacy. They're saying, hey, smoking is healthy as long as you don't do it too much. Murder is good as long as you don't do it too much. Rape, just don't go overboard. And same thing with coffee is, you know, research is clear that coffee drinkers suffer less cases of mortality, you know, uh, coffee drinkers live longer, uh, less type 2 diabetes. I wonder what the thing is in coffee that makes it good for you, that extends your life. Oh, it's that shit that's in fruits and vegetables, right? Antioxidants. Oh, shit. Coffee is high in antioxidants, but that's obviously not the reason why I use it. If you were really interested in health, why wouldn't you drink green tea or hibiscus tea, which are far high in antioxidants? If you're truly interested in health and longevity, why not adopt a plant-based diet like the Seventh-day Adventist vegans eat, which are the longest living scientifically studied community on the planet? Study after study after study after study confirms this fact. You're not interested in this because you're all about the money and your money comes from your brand. Your brand is aesthetics, not health. And you certainly don't seem to give a fuck about the billions of animals that are slaughtered every year unnecessarily. Which at the end of the day, despite all of veganism's benefits, like the benefits on the environment and our health, is what it's all about. It's about the fucking animals, bro. Um, this is all important. And you know what? I wouldn't feel great on a vegan diet. I need that protein. I need more fat. See, bro, try it before you deny You can get protein on a vegan diet. You can get fat on a vegan diet, okay? Just be real about why you don't want to do a vegan diet. And I like eating meat. You know what? My shit is sexy.